Hi, it's Cole for Print a Lot. Um, okay, today, or well, actually for the last eight weeks almost now, I've been on a hunt for some 15mm rubber balls or silicon balls for my 3D printed ball game. Um, when I made a prototype about a year ago um, on my ball game, I sourced these silicon beads which are 15.5mm uh, um, they're fairly smooth and downside to them that's uh, on, the, on the light side for the actual ball game itself um, I found these on eBay didn't really have much trouble finding them the first time round but uh, since then, since I've done the 98% 3D printed version of my uh, Amaze ball game, I seem to be having trouble finding the balls or the beads from on eBay. So I've tried to source them elsewhere. I've actually tried five different Chinese companies with different problems all the way through. I mean, this one. I bought 200, back of 100 red and 100 yellow, but uh, they're well under, even though they were advertising them as 15mm, as you can see, you're a mil under. Some are even smaller. They've got, obviously got the, the lip actually on the ball, where they obviously, when the mould, the two halves of the mould come together, uh, so very bad quality. Um, I've got three other lots from three other different companies, similar sort of results. So, pretty upset on that side of things. Um, I've tried sourcing rubber balls from rubber companies that do like uh, gaskets and similar sort of products, but obviously, they're not really interested in trying to make me some colour silicon balls really because they've obviously up and running business uh, another thing I have tried I just tried today you can buy some kits they're for kids mainly you know bouncy ball make your own rubber balls <laughs> so I thought okay I'll try that then so this is actually a mould for Fishing weights. Um, is exactly 15 millimeters. I thought it was superb. And as you can tell, I've filled them up with this kiddies uh, crystals you get, packets of crystals, to try and make my own 15 mil rubber balls. Uh, to be quite truthful, with some really terrible <laughs> results. Obviously, I need them fairly smooth and you know round because they'll be running up the tracks of my board game. And because there's a slight little bit of physics involved with the way the balls rolled at different angles, so they need to be pretty spot on, really. Which I class this as a failed attempt. So, I guess what I'm what the video is all about is really I'm still trying to source after almost two over two months of trying to track down some red and yellow or even two other colours I can change this the, the side colours quite easily within the game rubber balls um, I've tried the companies in in China it's pretty hard um, I've got a couple of other sources for the actual silicon beads again from America, so I'm just waiting for them to come in. But uh, I'd like to get my ball games out there, and I've got a few ordered already, but my problem being I can't send them out because I have no balls. 
and uh, so yeah if anybody can help me out there um, and they have to be between 15 and 16 millimeters. I can't go under 15 and I can't go over 7, uh, 16. So, yeah, please, any guys, if you can help me out, be much appreciated. And, uh, or if you know of a really better way of making them, I mean, it's not ideal, but, uh, if there is a way, please let me know. Links, add links to below. Um, yeah, let's see if we can try and get some outside help. Okay, thanks guys.